five minutes until the deadline. I wonder if Gab made it to Ward D or not. Even if he did, who knows if Diana will vote the way it says in the note. What? You think she'll betray us? It's not outside the realm of possibility. I don't even want to consider the alternative. Which is? That the whole letter from C-Team is a trap. Trap? They could have written it, but maybe Carlos is planning to vote for Q-Team instead. Hey, wait a minute now. That's not good. At all. You said it. If I'm right, then we need Diana to do the opposite of what it says. What? But... The deadline to vote is in three minutes. The vote has to be decided by the leader, but... What should we do? We don't have time for a committee. Then we'll just have to use force. Oh, hey! Wait! Your vote has been accepted. <laughs> the plot thickens. Why would you? If Carlos voted for D-Team like he said he would in the note? Maybe that was the result he was going for. He wanted to kill the three in D-Team. No. You said it earlier, right, Mira? The note Gab brought? It could have been a trap from C-Team. Right. But that doesn't mean voting for D-Team can be justified. If it really was a trap, there still isn't a solid reason to go against what it says in the note. Because regardless, as long as Diana doesn't flip on us, we may be screwed anyway. Mira? There's no way we can justify it by saying we voted this way in self-defense. minutes have passed. Your time limit has ended. Sleep well, as the next game will begin when you awake. Unfortunately, the team who receives two votes will be unable to participate. One final thing. You've gone through with the vote exactly as I commanded. You deserve a reward for obeying. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the free of you. When you next wake, those who survived will be able to regret the decision they made, as all members of a single team will perish as a result of the vote you entered. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> So this is the last room. Yes. We've checked everywhere we could. Hmm. 
It's just as Zero said, huh? There's no way to get out, except by opening the X door. 50 minutes left until the vote deadline. Don't tell me you want to vote. How can we not? If we refuse, C-Team gets two votes automatically. We'll die. But... Hey, do you think this could be part of the experiment? DCOM's whole psychological test. Nope. What? Why? That masked guy called himself Zero. I have no clue why he's here, but he's for real. So that means he's actually willing to kill off a whole team? Yeah. But how? He said that there's an anesthetic in our bracelets, right? So we'll be sleeping and then BAM! Or maybe... There's a bunch of different ways. If only there was a way to contact someone on the other teams. Why would you need to reach them? What, you're planning on begging them not to vote C-Team or something? Well, no, but I thought, why not spread out the votes? What do you mean? Remember what Zero said? The group with two or more votes will lose. I get it. Maybe C-Team could vote for D-Team, D-Team for Q-Team, and Q-Team for C-Team. Then all the teams would have one vote each. And that'd make it a three-way tie. A and no one would have to die? But how do we make sure they know to do it? Not working. Damn it! Hey, Akane, uh, why don't you try using the morphogenetic field? Huh? Morphogenetic field? Let the game end where I treat too. What's this supposed to mean? The game will end, and something about two people? I guess the tough part is figuring out treat. If it's like trick or treat, then maybe it means there's a reward or a gift or something. But it could also mean treatment, which would imply being cared for. Either way, it doesn't make sense. Hey, uh, anyone know what this thing could be? A box? What's inside of it? Maybe some kind of a white smoke. A tomate baco? You've heard of it, Carlos? Hiroshima Taro, right? Japanese folklore. Something about jumping through time, I think. This label says force quit box. What's that? Looks like there's a keyboard. There's probably a password that goes there. Then something ends if you punch it in? But what though? Maybe the game Zero's making us play. Wait, wait. You really think Zero'd put something that easy here? It seems like it wouldn't even have to be a box for that. Didn't think it'd work. Just pressing random buttons isn't going to solve anything. So, what now? What can we do? Maybe we should just get this voting business over with. Junpei. No, we still have some time. Come on, man. You're supposed to be the leader here. How the hell did we get into this mess anyway? Do you guys have any ideas? Who is Zero? Uh, to be accurate, you should probably ask, who is the second Zero instead? Then that means there has to have been a first one, right? Yeah, there is. You know him? Sorta. I brought it up earlier. A bracelet a lot like this one has been strapped to my wrist before. It happened last year. Akane and I were trapped somewhere. The person responsible back then was named Zero. But I don't think that one has anything to do with this one. It's gotta be connected. Just please. Believe me. 
she's right. Why is Zero doing this? To make us play a game, right? This decision game or whatever. With the fate of mankind on the line. So it's true. Do you know something, Akane? I think... If we end up losing this game, we're all going to die. Six billion people will. So what Sigma said back then up in DCOM was... At this rate, this rate six, six billion, billion people, people will, will die. die. Yes. What Sigma said is the truth. Have you ever heard of the term Reverie Syndrome? What causes it is unknown. Neither the nerves nor the brain have abnormalities. But somehow, this disease causes you to stop reacting to a variety of stimuli. I've heard there are people from all over the world who have become affected by this. Hey, hold up. How does this and what we were talking about before go together? Shouldn't you know already? Huh? A crisis. Mankind is currently facing what is clearly an unprecedented crisis. Those affected are sensing it's coming. Reverie Syndrome. You've heard of it? Yeah, kinda. Akane Kurashiki. Junpei Tenmyoji. You're both Japanese, right? Yes. And you both lived in Japan when you were kids. You even went to the same school. So you're childhood friends. Who told you that? Sigma. He mentioned it back in DCOM. We all lived in close quarters in that facility for five days. Information spreads fast. So, whose idea was it for you to join? Huh? The DCOM experiment. You two signed up together, right? No, we didn't. We did this on our own. Wait, you're telling me you guys just happened to bump into each other at DCOM? It wasn't a coincidence. It was inevitable. Why did you subject yourself to this circus? I didn't mention it before. I... Well, I kind of really need a lot of cash. They said they'd give us 500,000 if we joined up. Huh. Color me surprised. Thought a hero of justice had no need of money. A what? Didn't you say you're a firefighter? A really good one? You've faced off against danger and saved a whole bunch of people. Sounds like a hero to me. Uh, I just have good instincts. Doesn't seem to matter where I find myself. They're pretty good at telling me which path has death at the end. Do you hear something? Over there! Gap! Where did you come from? Looks like you made it here using this vent. Does that mean it's connected to the surface? Hmm, I don't think so. A vent to the surface would defeat the purpose of a bomb shelter. So he came from another ward then? It's too dark, I can't see anything. But Ward Q is down that direction, right? Think you can fit in there, Akane? Uh, no, there's no way. Someone likes cake too much. Oh, I know. Let's cut off Junpei's arm. He should be able to fit through then. Huh. Hey, Mira! Eric! No answer, huh? Hey, Gab. Did they steal you away from DCOM, too? But why the dog? Maybe they felt bad about leaving him alone up there? Baloney. You really think Zero do us any favors? Hold on. I think I got an idea that may work. This here, this case, it holds medication, doesn't it? Uh-huh. 
It's empty. Did that bastard Zero take the meds? I still think this could work. We can use it. Wait a sec. A beer coaster and a pen. I found them on the counter of the bar. There's something written on it. Oh, uh, I did that. Hello, Carlos here. C team is voting for D team. So D team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. Oh! You're going to put it in the case and have Gab go through the vent. Cross your fingers he can get to Q team. You really think it'll be that simple? So we shouldn't? Well, I guess we don't have anything to lose. Why don't we give it a shot? What did you throw? Cheese. Picked it up with the coaster. It was over there on the counter. Why don't we just toss in some ketchup and pickles too? Maybe next time he comes back he'll be a hot dog. It was a joke. Five minutes left. Uh, Gab's not come back. Let's just vote, Carlos. Like I said, if we forfeit... I know! Hey, there's one thing we can do. What is it? You remember what you wrote on the Gab letter. Uh, the what? The message we sent the furry pigeon to deliver? C team is voting for D team. So D team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. Yeah? So what? So, vote for Q team instead. What? Junpei, you can't be suggesting. If we do that, they'll end up with two votes and... Yep, Q team will be out. Granted, this whole thing is assuming our initial plan works. The note makes it to D team and Diana votes the way we want her to. Think about it for a second. Six people have to die or we're never getting out of this bomb shelter. Those are the rules of the decision game according to Zero. Balancing the votes won't do us any good. We'll just end up falsely prolonging someone's death. Junpei. The deadline to vote is in three minutes. Come on, Carlos. Vote for Q-Team. No, you can't! You'll see, Akane. Just because we did what we said we would doesn't mean this will work. Hell, we don't even know if our note reached the other teams or not. And even if it did, there's no guarantee they did what we asked. Two possibilities will come out of this. The three members of D-Team will die. Or it's our heads on the chopping block. 90 minutes have passed. Your time limit has ended. Sleep well, as the next game will begin when you awake. Unfortunately, the team who receives two votes will be unable to participate. One final thing. You've gone through with the vote exactly as I commanded. You deserve a reward for obeying. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the three of you. When you next wake, those who survived will be able to regret the decision as all members of a single team will perish as a result of the vote you entered. Pleasant dreams.
Diana? Diana! <laughs> Fi! Where are we? I think it's the healing room. Hey! Open this door! What is this car? No idea. Zero must have put them on us. But... Let's take them off. We can't. There's no hole for a key. But... There must be a way. Prepare for the voting results. The team who received two votes is you, D-Team. As such, according to the rules, D-Team will be executed. No! Damn it! Why? What's Q-Team thinking? If they were going to choose us, then there was no point in sending Gab. That's true, but... There has to be a trick to this game. Something nonsensical. Illogical, maybe. They're trying hard. Who was it who decided to kill all of you? In a way, they are the true culprit. Would you stop talking nonsense? Zero! You won't get away with this! I swear I'll... Sigma, let's jump. What? May you rest in peace. Look into the activist for me. No! Five minutes left. Uh, Gab's not come back. Let's just vote, Carlos. Like I said, if we forfeit... I know! Hey, there's one thing we can do. What is it? You remember what you wrote on the Gab letter. Uh, the what? The message we sent the furry pigeon to deliver. C-Team is voting for D-Team, so D-Team should vote for Q-Team and Q-Team for C-Team. Yeah? So what? So, vote for Q-Team instead. What? Junpei, you can't be suggesting... If we do that, they'll end up with two votes and... Yep, Q-Team will be out. Granted, this whole thing is assuming our initial plan works. The note makes it to D-Team and Diana votes the way we want her to. Think about it for a second. Six people have to die or we're never getting out of this bomb shelter. Those are the rules of the decision game according to Zero. Balancing the votes won't do us any good. We'll just end up falsely prolonging someone's death. Junpei. The deadline to vote is in three minutes. Come on, Carlos. Vote for Q-Team. No, you can't!
Your vote has been accepted. Carlos, why? Smart move. Ninety minutes have passed. Your time limit has ended. Sleep well, as the next game will begin when you awake. Unfortunately, the team who receives two votes will be unable to participate. One final thing. You've gone through with the vote exactly as I commanded. You deserve a reward for obeying. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the three of you. When you next wake, those who survived will be able to regret the decision. As all members of a single team will perish as a result of the vote you entered. Pleasant dreams. This is... The pantry. Oh, hey Carlos, where's Junpei? No idea. He was already gone when I woke up. It's locked. Wait, did Junpei do this? You think he woke up first and then locked us in? It's been a long time since you've seen each other, right? Maybe now he's Zero's accomplice. That's not possible. The Junpei I know would never do something like that to us. Sorry. It was just one of the possibilities. Junpei... You know, this has been on my mind for a while. But what exactly is he to you, Akane? It's hard to believe that you two just knew each other in grade school. Junpei... He's very... Yes, he's very important to me. All my life, I've never really had many friends to call my own. That's surprising. I would have taken you as the type guys and girls all fawn over in Japan. Oh, you're very kind, thank you. But that's not exactly... Junpei always said... I was a girl who always said what shouldn't be said. I never found myself bullied or anything, but it still seemed as if people considered me something of an odd girl. Junpei was different. He told me he'd rush to my aid whenever I was troubled. Once, when we were young, I was crying over something and he faced the enemy alone. He sounds like he's a comic book hero. <laughs> yes. To me he is, at the very least. But this past year has completely changed him. It seems to me like he's the exact opposite now. If it was because of me somehow, then this time I need to rush to his aid. That's what I've decided anyway. You really like Junpei, don't you? What in the world are you saying, Carlos? I'm out of my depth when it comes to romance. My co-workers do always come to me with their stories, though. So I can tell. Just by looking. I can tell if someone's in love. Does that mean there isn't anyone like that for you? That important? There is. I love my little sister very much. She's a sunshine on my life. Oh, so a sister complex. Ha ha, you're horrible. Consider it payback for earlier. 
Now then. Nothing will come from just sitting around here. How about we find a way out? Right. I bet you're eager to see your dearest love as soon as you can. Ah, oh, Carlos! Thank <laughs> you.